horse comes here? The bus thing. Ice. Snow and ice. We need 20 meters of snow to equal one meter of compressed ice. Okay? Whoa. We need cold summer and cold winter. Okay? That doesn't always happen. Especially sometimes we don't get a lot of snow here. Because where are we in the world? We're on the continental divide. Yeah? So the continental divide is the province of Alberta, British Columbia, and it's the height of land. Okay? So on this side, it all goes to what ocean? Arctic. Yes. Smarter kids and adults. <laughs> uh, and then all the water on the other side of the glacier goes into the Pacific. And then we have a mountain right here. Also the Atlantic. Okay, so that's what makes it special here. But we don't get a lot of snow here because we're on the dry side of the Rockies. I don't like to ski here. We don't get a lot of snow and it's really cold all the time. All the time. So I go ski out by Revelstoke or the coast or the northern British Columbia, close to Alaska. That's where the big snow and ice is. So, every glacier needs a mama glacier to come from. 
And where does the Athabasca Glacier come from? Snowball? Anybody know? What, where does it come from? All of them? Good answer. <laughs> You're close. Where is it coming from? Look, look up behind. Look, look there. Oh, uh... You see that horizon line? What's back in there? In Canada, we call it an ice field. An ice field. Some country calls them ice sheets or ice cap. We call them ice fields. That's one the Columbia ice field. Okay? I have a picture here to demonstrate how big the Columbia ice field is. Uh, maybe I'll show these folks and then I'll show you folks. How about that? So this is from 1995. And if I was to orientate it right, this is the Athabasca. The three ice fall. One, two, three. Yeah. You parked your car here. This is from 1995. So really we're missing this whole bottom part, right? The distance from the toe up there is 5K. The width of it, 1K. Oh. So then get this, I flip it over, and then look at the Athabasca here, and this is the Columbia. Oh, wow. So we're just here, hey? This is 20K long, and that's British Columbia, that's BC. Does anyone ski up there? I do ski up there, yeah. I've been many days up here. Yeah. But you only do it in April and May when the avalanche is, uh, conditions are better. Yeah. Okay, so this is Toe, but this is from 1995, so we're missing this whole bottom part. Okay, this is 5 kilometer from here to the top of that ice field there. And that would be the thickest. In the 1970s, they measured the upper ice fields in the low 300 meters, way up here, 300 meters deep. And now I reckon it'd probably be a lot less. I, I don't know if anyone's measured it recently, because the 70s was quite a while ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not that long ago. But in a glacier's term, it's like a nothing. It's like a, a second. In nature. Yeah. Can you hike right up onto it? Yeah, um, as, uh, Evangeline asked, Evangeline, yeah. asked uh, if I ever been up there, and yeah, we do hike up there, but I, I'm on skis. Yeah, so you you get up the right hand that swath of snow, and then your skis up, and then yeah, you yeah. camp up here in winter, like April, May, and you summit all these peaks because this is a like 3,400 meters. Like Mount Columbia is the hugest peak to ski off of. Like, how do you get up there? My whistler. My boyfriend does. I don't. <laughs> I've never been. Yeah. And so it's, she ski? it's like I'm skiing at a resort with fat skis, good boots. It's not like cross country skiing. It's very beefy and like strong and you have a big pack on and a rope and a harness. Like I have all that in here. But when you ski up here in winter time, you can't see all the hazards. Like we can see everything today. Right? Where in winter time this is all covered. All snow, everything. White, flat. No. 
so that's why you rope up and we tie we get tied together with a rope so if you fall in i fall to the ground and i save you right now people are waking up at one in the morning and they're trying mount athabasca Not at all, but I'm still scared looking at those. <laughs> I was born in the prairie, in the flatlands. Uh -huh. So it was when I came here, I was scared of stuff too. 
Yeah. <laughs> I find so much money, but it's all like pennies. <laughs> I don't care. I've been trying to convince him to let her do some lessons. You should. But this winter she's going. Yeah. It's something you could do in your 70s home. Yeah. Cool. Like it's a holiday you could do for the rest of your life. Oh. Now you gotta touch me for doing this. Attack by GoPro. You can look at it.
Nope. Rock? Yeah. Go too close. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so before we go any further, you need to understand, you know, how it's made, but now we gotta know how it's kind of moving more. Okay, so remember, um, let's go back to the depths. The top 30 to 50 is quite brittle ice. The bottom part inside is more malleable, like plastic. Why? Because the earth is always zero and that inside ice is being insulated. So it's not brittle and it won't crack, okay? But the top part's brittle. So when it has to move over that cliff, look on either side, the left and the right. You see how it's coming over that cliff? What's yeah. it doing? It's opening up that 20 to 50, whatever, and then it comes down here and closes back. one of these things called a crevasse and it comes down the crevasse spins around waterfall whatever and we call that a mill well so the water is always looking for a weakness it's looking to go to the ground like boom it doesn't want to stay up here it wants to go down gravity right so it's finding like a tunnel or a whatever so it comes into the crevasse and then it makes a mill well mill well spins around and it could not end up at that lake. It could end up in a tunnel, whatever. So does that make sense to everyone? We're gonna go see, we're gonna go see some mill wells next. Yeah. Um, okay. But I carry, I'm sorry, because of the COVID thing, I can't share this anymore. I'll show you. So the important take home of today, is that every glacier is like a Mars bar. This is my half my Mars bar from this morning. But the glacier is like a Mars bar. Inside it's caramel. And then the top part is brittle, like a crevasse. And as that glacier comes down, it's starting to melt. Oh, and it's a warm summer and the sides of it fall off. <laughs> or, you know, that should be a Mars ad. Right? I know, right? <laughs> then, it's the mother glacier, like the Columbia is feeding the Athabasca, and it's coming over and making more crevasses. And then as it comes down here, it straightens out again and it comes one again. <laughs> so that's the Mars bar. And then... <laughs> <laughs>
Yep. So now you know how it kind of moves over things. So where we're standing now, what's different of this than it was at the beginning? Oh, it's... What's different now? Colder. Bumpier. Bumpier. It's more wavy in here. So what does that tell us? It tells us that something's underneath us. Because it gets more interesting now. So they did surface to ground sonar and they measured a massive depression in here. So something funky is under here. And we won't know in our lifetime, but potentially this could be gone in 50 years to the, to the head wall. You know, this could be melted back in 50 years. So maybe during your time or your time or your kid's time or whatever, your kid's time, they could maybe come back when you're older and see if it, there's a big lake here one day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't think it would be like dry land? Well, no, because there's some sort of depression here. Like something's going to capture that water, right, right, right. I, I think, if, it, if it's a big concavity. Right. Um, the water will be in a basin, from what these researchers said. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then it would be so hard to do the hike, right, after that? Yeah. It would be hard to hike. Yeah, yeah. lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, another common question I got on the way up was, do I ever see wildlife here? And I, I have found, like, an old set of deer antlers in the, another glacier I worked on, and, um, and that was pretty cool, because this thing looked like it was... 200 year old like it looked old oh wow like frozen in the ice and uh and it was way high up and then uh heli skiing i um from the helicopter i saw the animal tracks on the glacier i was about to ski down with my group and uh i got on the ground and i start skiing and i look and it's uh five wolves tracks that went down the glacier that morning right in front of me like i didn't see them but i saw and they they weaved in and out of the crevasses like they knew where to avoid them. Oh, wow. Where I've heard of bears and other animals, they can't quite know that there's a crevasse there. It's like, if you ever have, when I first got a dog and I took him on a ridge, you know, she didn't know what exposure was. Like, you know what I mean? They don't know that it could be harmful to, their, to them. But yeah, uh, animals, you know, any animal will cross a glacier if there's food on the other side. But we are the biggest animal that's invading the whole planet. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. The worst thing too. The most evasive. Yeah. The most evasive organism is us. Yeah. Absolutely. Careful, eh?
guys, don't go too close, please. Okay, gang, we're just gonna go up this side for about five minutes, take some pictures, and then we're gonna come right back and cross this big creek. We can't cross this anywhere else. Okay, so we're gonna come right by here again. Can you imagine venturing by yourself? That's dangerous, man. The folks that are venturing by themselves. Careful with your phone, eh? Brought my camcorder, right? Um, that's okay, right? Yeah. You got most of it, no? Yeah, I got it. Oh, the cold too. You're burning out, Erica. Okay, got it. Pretty nice inside. Whoa! That's 
so cool. Thank you. Can I see your footage?
huge. Oh my god. Don't give it to the kids, okay? Don't give it to the kids. Mom, my gloves. The water is cold. It's really yummy. Don't drink too much. Yeah, just a tiny bit, not more. Get a better view from here.
Ya. Yeah, go. No, I'm good. You don't want it? You don't want it? I got it on tape. Turn, turn around, turn around. Yeah. That's how the, the thing comes and enters. It doesn't even go as far as the boat. Right? The boat thing comes and enters there. Whoa. 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 